If you want to learn more about manual transmission, go to our channel and watch um, how manual transmission works. Okay, so first off, um, these gears here, they're attached to the input shaft, and um, when they spin, they, they won't spin the output shaft. Um, this collar is attached to the output shaft, and that's the one, if it spins, then the output shaft spins too. Um, whatever this collar gear is, whatever it is engaged to, that's the gear that your car is going to go in. So, first, it's in first, and then slide back, that second, and then third, fourth, um, gear. So, this here, blue gear, that's going to be our collar. And it has it has splines on the inside, and this black gear here that's our synchro, and it has splines on the outside. Here are the splines on the inside, and here are the splines on the outside. Um, because it, if the gears were like this, if the the shape was like this, and they were spinning. Um, at different speeds, then it would be hard for them to engage. So they give it, they they gave it a special shape. So then it'll become easier for it to engage. Like that. So um, that will allow. The, see here, it's in a special that arrow shape. So, same thing is going to happen um, here and it will happen in the manual transmission. Say this is our output output gear. Um, it's going to be spinning at a faster rate and so um, when the collar tries to engage it won't move as fast but because of friction it will pick up speed and that will allow the collar to slide into gear. So as you can see, the synchro is allowed to move back and forth. And so when it lines up with these gears here, see how it's lined up? When they're lined up with the gears here, um, the collar will jump, will, will engage into the synchro first. And then when it lines up with these gears here, then that should, that should put you in gear. So.